but I'm a short dude too, you feel me? So I'm coming in, you being the guard, but it's like, bro, if you give me an opportunity or if you even give me, like, I'm talking about an inch of space, bro, I'm going to show you. Mm, damn, Q. Baby, you did that. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shy. Shy vs. Everybody Podcast. Voice of Detroit. Motherfucking podcast MVP in this motherfucker, man. Man, it's your boy Shaw. Shaw vs. A Bite Podcast, episode 191. Man, best podcast in the city. If you think different, nigga, well, shit, yo ass on drugs. You tweaking. <laughs> but uh, we got, man, hell. we got rapper. <laughs> so, man, you call you, you be in your singing bag a little bit too. You got yes, a little, sir. I'll be yes, here, sir. you know, singer. Yes, Father, sir. Out, uh, little man in the back, man, Juju Man in the building. Let's just, uh, go, let's go. Yes, West sir. side, yes, dude. Sir. My dog said he was a hooper, man, hooping at uh, Clintdale. Yes, sir. Back in the day, John Dog. Yes, sir. Yeah, after be, you ain't at the bed. Yes, sir. I be trying to do my little one two. <laughs> we, one two. we got bad AT, man. What's good? What's the deal, man? Finally I'm made so it happen, happy bro. To be here, man. Finally made it happen. And I told him off camera. I'm glad he didn't cuss me out, threat me, and nothing like that, oh, dog. No. <laughs> <laughs> you get niggas, man. You gotta watch your back in these in these streets when you got a podcast, man, bro. Man, I feel you, bro. And I ain't even gonna lie, bro. Like I said, bro, everything happened on God's time, bro. So it's like I be appreciating, it, bro. I'm happy to be here. For sure, for sure, for sure. I'm glad we can make it happen, dog. Yes, sir. But man, before we get into every Everything, man. We start every show off with a salute me while I'm here. Mm -hmm. A lot of times we wait for people to pass away, make that long ass Facebook status, that long ass Instagram post, mm -hmm. tell them how we miss them or love them, mm -hmm. but we could have showed them that same love when they were still there. Mm -hmm. But it can't be an easy answer. It can't be your moms, your pops, if you got a lady, or it can't be your kids. Mm -hmm. It got to be somebody outside of that. So you got somebody you want to shoot some love to? Definitely. My, oh. um, my dog, Mitch, man. Yeah. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Not because I, I, no disrespect, I know you passed away. Yeah. But you gotta be right here. Oh, right here. But yeah, but okay. yeah. Re rest in peace to him. Yes, sir. Salute to him. Yes, I know y'all. Uh, only one Jackson uh, talked about him, mm -hmm. so I know about him. Young dog in the back. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you got anybody you want to show some love to? Um, right now, bro. You said nobody that's like that I know to. I, nobody like, is in your media circle. So when I say media oh, circle, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah parents you, uh, and kids. For sure, for sure. You got my dude Kyle Devon. You feel me? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I gotta just shout out my dog Lofty. You feel me? Lofty by J. Mm -hmm. You feel me? I got a uh, June Lee. Yeah. Uh. People that's close to me, you feel me, that I just want to show love to. I ain't going to lie. Well, not really close, but yeah. I'm going to say Detroit Diamond Code, too. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Definitely show love to that's Detroit Diamond, you feel me. I'm trying to think, man. Have you ever had somebody, like, uh, unexpected, like, damn, like, they really looked out. Like, you know what I'm saying? They even had to. Like, you ever had one of those moments, dog? Like, oh, only one? Yeah. Only one. Uh, Jackson and his mama, uh, Miss Tracy. Shout out to both of them, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Um, My dog, Drip. Drip trip, uh, you know what I'm saying? Drip trip media. Y'all can go follow me. He, he he be he be like showing me like the ins and outs of how to promote my music and how to really get it out there and get it heard. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Um Yeah, if I had to do one more, I'd definitely say the house of dream too. Show big love. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Shout out to all the man. That's all we tell people when you tell you salute me right here, and they be like, damn, I don't know, man. I don't want you know what I'm saying not mention somebody, but I'm like nigga, this mention who you want to mention, nigga. Exactly. I ain't, you know what exactly. I'm saying? But Be I'm real. Trying, <clears throat> I ain't got nobody to salute. You know I ain't gonna lie to you, dog. Uh, I'm gonna salute my uh, my girls again, man, because I was saying coach basketball. Okay. And uh, oh, you took coaching girls? Yeah, I coach girls. Uh, we about, That's I, hard. I've been coaching girls uh school okay. for a minute. I was helping out my cousin with the AU jump, but now I'm okay. starting my own team with girls AU. That's hard. So we about to be in That's our first hard. little tournament, man, next yeah. Sunday at Nova High School, dog. So, oh, yeah. Yeah, man. Shout out to my girls team. Hopefully y'all uh, stay locked in. And, and like I told them, like, don't. I'm going to pull up to support. Man, kids be dog. I'm going to pull up to support. I ain't going to lie. For sure. Kids be bro. I'm pull up to support. Well, AU, you, you got to understand, you playing against some teams that have been locked in for a minute. Yeah. When you're a new organization, it's gonna you're going to have some, some L's. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So it's yes. Big I time L. I ain't even going to lie, man. That's how it was. I, like I said, I played for Clendo, but I also played for the uh, Jermaine Jackson League, too. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Over there in Clint, I mean, and Mount Clemens. Yeah. So it was like... I, when I got a sense of AAU ball, I understood how good I was. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I ain't even gonna lie. I understood how mo much more work I had to put in. You feel me? <laughs> yeah, I ain't even gonna lie. Yeah, yeah, because for you, real. When you play outside that, you got you play against a team we got like three, two, three, four good hoopers. Mm -hmm. You play a good AAU team, nigga, the bench, everybody can hoop. Bro, all 12. Bench, no cap. <laughs> dog come off the bench and just put 30 in. You like, bro. Duh, for sure. <laughs> for real. For sure. Now, you know, I had heard stuff, dog. You can hoop. 
Yes, you know sir. what I'm saying? I heard you, they say if you leave you, leave you open, that's that's gonna be a problem. You are gonna knock that boy down. Yeah, it's, so it's like, really like you, that. You one of the ones that because you know I you know when you got people say I hoop and then you see them you be disappointed like oh fuck. that's why every time like I be like dog can you hoop for real? I can hoop for real. Yeah, bro. so wait. I ain't even gonna lie, bro. I was gonna go to um, if it wasn't for my man's juju, man. I swear to God, I was gonna go to Northern Michigan yeah. to uh, for medicinal plant chemistry. But I was about to be a walk on at Northern Michigan, bro. Yeah, for D2 sure. Two school, so I was like, yeah. Basketball was the goal. I ain't even gonna lie, bro. I understood, like, bro, I'm a short dude too. You feel me? So I'm coming in, you being the guard. But it's like, bro, if you give me an opportunity, or if you even give me, like, I'm talking about an inch of space, bro. I'm gonna show you. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah, show you. Yeah, yeah. Shoot, you, you, a, a, you, what you say? Your game is more shooter. Off the dribble, like yeah, off the dribble. Okay, okay, okay. Off the dribble, but I'm a catch and shooter too, so that's why I say I'm a full shooter. Like yeah. I train, like I ain't gonna lie, my dude, I trained for that shit every night. Like my mama yelling and yelling at me, like bro, you know, ass yeah. in the house, bro. It's three o'clock in the morning. You know, you gotta get up at six. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I took that shit serious, and then that's how I even do it with music now. It's like it, I transfer from hooping. Like <laughs> I even you. I do hooping right now. Like and the crazy part about it is, bro, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't even really like hooping. Yeah. I did it just because it was like my uncle. My uncle was like the biggest hooper. He had offers, all that shit. And I'm like, damn, I kind of want to be. But then yeah. when I got started hooping and then I started doing that shit, I'm like, I don't think I like this shit for real. But I ain't going to lie. For real, for real. And and don't get me wrong. I love hooping. I love the release and exercise. I for love sure. doing that shit. And I'm good at it. But yeah. it's like, it's just a skill. I yeah. feel me. Feel yeah. me, feel me. Because I was about to say, like, do you be looking back like, damn, I wish I could go back and hoop. But now nah, you probably in fell love with the music. I can't. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Bro, I'm like, bro, I'm trying to tell you, like, I believe you, bro. Me, bro. Like, you got confidence in your eyes, You dog. feel me? Like, <laughs> it's a problem, bro. If I wanted to go back hooping, bro, and I say, fuck it, I give myself a full year. I give myself, like, literally 365 days to train. Yeah. And then go to a Euro League, it's over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah, over. Yeah, I'm getting yeah, paid yeah. and I'm taking care of Juju. Yeah, yeah. See, I ain't gonna even ask you to play, give me, play once, because nigga, I'm tired. I'm tired just thinking about hooping now, dog. Because <laughs> you're young, <laughs> Bro, I'm trying to hoop with the girls, and I'm like, I'm showing them because I hate watching trainers or mm -hmm. or coaches that that do stuff with the kids and don't show them how to do it. Mm -hmm. But they just telling, like, nigga, show them how to do it. Exactly. So I'm out there showing them exactly. how to do it. I'm doing everything. Mm -hmm. Man, I get home, like, bro, why am I sore? Like, I wasn't even hooping for it. I was just showing them how to do stuff, and I'm sore, dog. So my hoop day is a wrap, bro. <laughs> it's a wrap. I know you, you a young dude. You you were born what 2000? Yes, sir. So you 24. I'm in this mud. I'm 37. Man. And I, you feel that, John, dog. 37 years young. And I feel you, though. I ain't going to lie. Me and, me and my dog, we just hooped the other day, bro. And I don't know if it was. And it was indoor. Yeah. And I don't know what it was, bro. But we put up, like, we ran one game, bro. And I swear to God, my legs was on fire. <laughs> Yo, and sure. every shot after that, it was over. And I told him, I'm like, bro, my mechanic's right. He like, bro, it's got to be your legs. And I'm like, you know what? Yeah. It is my legs, bro. No, I'm for tired. Sure, for sure. Like, you know, my spine was hurting, bro. Like, I couldn't sit a certain way. Dog. I'm like, mm -hmm. dog, what's, what the heck? What is this? My hand was hurting. Like, <laughs> dog, the fat part of my hands was hurting, dog. Like, everything. Dog. <laughs> that nigga used muscles he ain't used in a minute. <laughs> dog, for the show, hooping and bowling. After I get done doing both those things, I'm sore, bro. I'm not feel you. I'm man. sore, dog. I'm not like, yeah, man. You. I just, I'm going to watch and just teach, dog. That's yeah, all, for dog. For real. Now, for I usually real. don't jump into the music, but mm -hmm. I usually like to get background before I jump to the music. But I do, yes, I ask you about your name, man. Okay. And, uh, rap, I mean, Bad Ape T, you mm -hmm. got it from Planet of the Apes. Yes, sir. Uh, from Cobra and junk like that. Talk yes, about sir. how he was one of those dudes who was misunderstood. Yes, sir. But I know you probably had a trash name before that. Mm. Talk about that name that didn't make the cut, dog. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you was little, young. Like, no, I'm going to be honest with you, bro. My man's Kyle Devon can really test to this. It was just T. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, bro, it can't just be T. Yeah. Like, like literally, I was saying, like, I told my, I swear to God, bro, I told my nigga, I'm like, it can't just be T, bro. Yeah. He was like, find something then, nigga. I'm like, all right, for sure. So it took it, like, a lot of, like, and then this is back, like, when they was dropping, like, Planet of the Apes and everything was just really, really, really like cold to me. Like I love the fact I love Caesar's story, but like, like I said, like Cobra was misunderstood. Y'all sure. think Cobra was just like, oh, he just wanted to kill the humans, but nigga, he was a test. Like he was a test, like lab dummy. Yeah, for sure. You feel me? They used Cobra to however they wanted to use Cobra. So Cobra, like nigga, it's fuck all y'all yeah. for real, for real. <laughs> if you ain't looking like me, yeah. it's fuck you, bro, for yeah. real. So, but to get back to the point, though, I'm just saying it's like. No, nah, my dude, it was just T. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah, just yeah. T, and then they came bad ape. <laughs> yeah, okay, for sure, for sure. Yeah, because T, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. come to the stage, T. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like. 
Like, you gotta put something with it, dog. You feel me? Like, who is this nigga? No, bad T. I was like, dog, that, that's hard, dog. I like, that's, that's a, it's something different. Yes, sir. But Thank it means you. something, too. Like you said, you. misunderstood, dog. Yes, sir. And, man, because I'm a short dude, too. I'm only 5'8. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know how we is. Yeah, baby. yeah, we yeah. Good, though. We why, good, though. Why, why do short niggas be so mad? Because, like, the bad T, Cobra, I'm misunderstood. I, I, I picture you of being a fighting ass nigga, dog. You, you was growing up. Oh, I was. <laughs> I was, because once again, I was misunderstood. People thought I was soft. Mm -hmm. People thought they could talk about me. I had eczema real bad. It scared, like, bro, growing up at Clendale, they ain't give you no, boy. They ain't, boy. <laughs> boy, growing up at Clendale, it show you real quick, like, bro, you got to... You got to like hold your own because it's for like sure. people will walk over you for real because you got niggas in there that don't just dumb as hell that just lift weights every day. <laughs> you feel me? They just strong as fuck, not smart as hell. Yeah. You got other people in there, bro, who just silver spoon as fuck, get everything from their peoples, you know what I'm saying? And then look at you like, why you don't? Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, my mama made sure that we had lights on and had to make sure we eat, nigga. So I'm sorry I ain't got the newest J's you got on. You for sure. Me? Hell yeah. So facts. it's just the way how it's got to be. Yeah, but man. it's like, yeah, like for real, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll tell my wife. Uh, about this uh, We were talking about this Not too long ago I'm still ashamed of this dog The one time I ran from a fight mm -hmm. They didn't see me run But I ran Like <laughs> no, My niggas get ass beat I ran nigga. No It be like that my baby. Ain't no point Both of us get our ass beat dog. No I forgot Listen 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 I ain't gonna cap <laughs> I ain't gonna cap. I'm gonna actually take that back. I ain't gonna say it don't be like that. Cause I ain't go, I ain't never I ain't never ran away with my man's getting his ass beat. I ain't gonna cap. I was as 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 an older me, I wouldn't did that, but I was like fifth grade, bro. Okay. I never forget. That, well, that makes sense. Yeah. You was fifth grade. Okay. You I don't mean, want no smoke. Yeah, you, I'm at Buzz. You play with toys and shit. You no, feel me? And now he get he get beat down by like the baddest niggas in the school, dog. Like, oh, so, it was them niggas. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. And this one nigga who did it, like this nigga in jail right now for like 30, dog. Mm -hmm. Like that nigga killed like a couple niggas though like, that nigga you knew as a young and he was gonna grow to be like not nigga not, yeah, on that good side for yeah. sure I went out the door and I'm like damn my nigga Robert getting his ass beat dog by him Robert nigga nigga <laughs> Robert Pye dog damn but you know his nigga, name yeah. is you cool with the nigga <laughs> no no this he like, see he, 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 he still know I read from that John, nigga. Hey, he told me he, he gonna be like I know nigga I remember like, dog, I that nigga was get, that nigga was getting the word put on the dog I'm like well ain't no point both of us gonna ask me I ran the other way <laughs> no, I Niggas ain't even see me. It be like that, bro. I ain't gonna cap. I done got pressed before. Yeah. It be like that. It but see, niggas like never want to tell that, that L story. They always want to tell the wins. Oh, no. I could definitely tell the L because it's definitely. Yeah. It's, it was different. I could tell all my L's because all my L's happened when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. So it's like, now that I'm a man, <laughs> boy, I would love for round two. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. Oh, the man. Hell yeah. Like, <laughs> for real. For sure. Now, you got a son. Yes, sir. Your son, he four, right? Yes, sir. So I got, I got, uh, I got bro, three you kids. You doing your research, bro? <laughs> I just want to, I just want to tell you that, bro. You good at what you do, man? I try, man. Thank For you, man. Real, I'm gonna start man. a podcast one day, man. <laughs> <laughs> but dog, uh, so my son, he 18. Yes, sir. Uh, he be 18 in, uh, in December. Mm -hmm. But my son never had a fight, bro. Mm -hmm. That's a good thing, but at the end of the day, it might be a bad thing too. Cause like, dog, I, I, I don't no. think he will. But I'm like, what if he get, what if he fight now? Like you know what I'm saying? Like you rather get those 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 licks in when you younger. Mm -hmm. But you know what I'm saying? So I'll be I'll be thinking it's a good thing, but it could be a bad thing at the same time. Like how tall is your son? He about my about my height. About your height? Yeah. And he he about to be sixteen. He about to be eighteen. He about to be eighteen. Yeah. yeah he so he never scrap. So would you be kinda of disappointed if your son don't go through those like those those times as a kid when you got he got to fight, he mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, tussle a little bit, you know, you know what I'm saying, so he can handle himself instead of being 17, 18, and then find out how to scrap or, you know, not to say he gonna be a fighter, but just to get out of his system when he's younger so he can be prepared for that shit. No, I ain't gonna cap. I don't want my son fighting at all. Yeah. Yeah, because he, he's, I, he's... I didn't want to fight when I was a kid. For sure. Well, I yeah. fought because I was forced to. Yeah. I don't want him fighting at yeah. all, bro. So if you go through your whole life and you figure out that, all right, now, like, shit, you ain't even gotta know how to fight nowadays, bro. P niggas don't know how to fight, bro. Yeah. <laughs> no, facts. <laughs> For real. Hell yeah, no, you don't. Niggas don't know how to fight nowadays, bro. Like, they really don't, bro. So it's like, nah. But one thing he know how to do, and we, bro, we exercise our rights. Mm -hmm. So Juju ain't fighting with you. Yeah, for sure. I understand yeah. that. For sure, yeah, you already know no, what I that understand is. understand that. <laughs> for sure. No, fast, yeah. And, and niggas don't, niggas will, will kill you because they too scared to fight. They don't know how Facts. to fight. Facts. So, you know what I'm saying? Facts. And that's one, one thing I'm going to teach my son. Like, you know what I'm saying? We're not using this on offense. We use this for defense. For sure. Facts. Hell yeah. Facts. Hell yeah. Yeah, cause I just thought about that. I'm like, damn, my son never got to a scrap. And I'm not saying mm -hmm. like I want him to, but just sometimes you got to know. You want your kids to know how to defend yourself if it get down to it. That's yes, what I'm sir. trying to say. Yes, that, you know what I'm saying? Yes, that, sir. No, but I understand that too. Like, it's definitely like, 
Shoot, but like, don't like you know what I'm saying. I know you didn't like taught him how, like how to no, put for his sure. hands yeah. up and all. Yeah, 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 yeah. he good. He yeah, good. yeah. He just gotta remember what his daddy taught. Exactly, exactly, <laughs> for exactly. Real, don't care. Hey, if you if you if you losing. Mm-hmm. It's, 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 hey, you can grab whatever, nigga. Oh, yeah. There's no rules in the fight. There's <laughs> exactly. no rules in the fight. You man, trying to win. Step, man, my stepdaddy be saying, he said, nigga, I'll pull a nigga out. I'll be like, bro. Yeah. I'll be like, shit. Yeah. <laughs> but, but still, though, it ain't no rules. Shit. Yeah, it ain't man. no rules, bro. Now, man, being a, 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 a I say you, you don't father, because you, I had my son when I was uh, 19, 20, so mm-hmm. about the same age as, as, uh, as you mm-hmm. when you had your kid. But talk about, like, Trying to be a good dad, learning how to be a good dad when your step pops pass yes, and your real father, like you said, y'all haven't had that relationship, yes, whatever sir. like that. So just talk about like a point you were trying to prove to be a good dad because you might not have seen that growing up. Because I know like my dad passed away when I was 13. So when I had my kid, I'm like, all right, like everything so I, I missed out, out oh, it's all good. Everything I missed out on. Mm-hmm. Or everything I wanted from my father, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that with my son. You know what I'm saying? So, yes, sir. did you like like losing a a guy that you called your dad and not meeting your real dad? Did that make you a better father for when you had your son? Yes, yeah, it did. Yeah, it definitely did. Only because I'm gonna say <clears throat> my stepfather did a lot for me, and I wasn't his real child. For sure, hell yeah. I want, I want, I want that shit to be understood because even his side of the family be on some bullshit sometimes. But it's like my stepfather did a lot of shit for me, mm-hmm. and he, I wasn't his real child. He ain't shoot me out. You feel me? Yeah. He he met this girl mm-hmm. and said, "Damn, I fuck with you so much that I fuck with him." Yeah, hell yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's real. So it was like. That, and that, then meeting my real father, bro. Yeah. Like, that nigga been in jail since 99. I was born in 2000. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? So, it was like, when he got out on what I want to say, 22. Mm-hmm. So, 22 years, bro, you not being my father, and you try to come out with, like, on some, like, discipline shit. You ain't even trying to be no <laughs> No, I ain't trying to laugh, but it's like, yeah, hell Man, yeah. Man, like, that shit different, bro. Yeah. That shit real life different. So, when I see that shit, it's like, I'm like, bro... And then on top of that, it's like, I see how, like, the pauses of how he really interact with me. And then I'd be like, bro, nigga, every day I think about my kid. Every day I want to know what he's doing. Every day I know his routine. Every day there is nothing that I wouldn't do, put my life on the line, anything for that boy that's behind us right now, bro. Yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, when I look at him and then I seen how he maneuvered with me, I'm like, no way. Yeah, hell 360. yeah. 360. No, for sure. 360. You're yeah. not about to... There's no way that I'm about to be looked at as, as that because it's not it's not even me that say he ain't shit. It's a lot of people yeah. that say because of how he moves. You For know sure. what I'm saying? So it's like, bro, if you really care about your kids, bro, it's not even about what you say. It's about how you move with them mm-hmm. and then how they going to react to you. Yeah. You feel me? Because every time when my son see me, I'm talking about I got to make sure that my hands be ready because he going to jump. Yeah. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? And For sure. I love that. I yeah. love that. And that hell comes yeah. from the person you being. No, that's dope as hell. That's dope as hell. And like you said, man, stepdads is needed. You yes, know what I'm saying? And when you messing with somebody with a kid, mm-hmm. th- dog, that, that that kid is 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 a part of you now. No okay. Because my, my wife, you know what I'm saying, my oldest son is by, you know, my high school girlfriend. We in, we in you know what I'm saying, make it, whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, she did her thing. I did her thing. We both cool. That's how me and his mom is. But she, yeah. <laughs> but, my, okay. uh, but my wife now come in and she already... She she came in as like all right well you know this your son I'm gonna show him love like he my son Facts. her family show my son love like like that's their grandson or that's their nephew and shit like that you know what I'm saying real. Christmas time come around they bind them shit like like that's blood that's real so yeah man them step moms and step fathers that's who I'm saluting like cause that's a hard job bro it is. cause you coming in. Because you said yeah. you wanted to do that. Exactly. And nobody asked you to do that. Hell yeah, you wasn't obligated or nothing. Nothing. You know what I'm you saying? You said so. you wanted to do that and you st- had stuck, uh, excuse me. You said you wanted to do that and you stood 10 toes on that. Mm-hmm. So I, that's that's why it's amazing. For real, for real. Yeah. Man, like, for real. Shoot, my dog right here. He is stepfather. Yeah. So Hell it's yeah. like, you feel me? It's like dogs. Like, you, you took that responsibility and you stood 10 toes on it. And like, it's like, you took that kid and it's like, it's your kid too. For sure, for sure, for real. And now I ain't trying to be on your business because I ain't that type of nigga. But mm-hmm. like you and uh, your son, and mom, like I know y'all not together. You just said that, but mm-hmm. are y'all cool though? Oh, mm, we decent. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <I get> it. <laughs> yeah. Because that's one thing my mom she had told me, dog. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Thank God she told me that because my mom. I ain't trying to make this a sad, a sad uh, no, no, episode, but my mom passed too. We talking? So yeah. she told me like what, a conversation we had was like, "Hey, dog, just because 
Y'all ain't together. Y'all still got to raise that kid. Of course. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no point. Like, if y'all want to be with each other, what's the point of y'all arguing? Exactly. Like, just raise it. Just raise y'all kid. Be good. You know what I'm saying? Co parents. And make sure the person she with and the person mm -hmm. you with is somebody that we, you know what I'm saying, we can trust. For sure. I mean, that's it, For though. sure. That's all I care about. Like, that's literally what I told her. It's like, as long as the dude that you got around my kid, you know, for, for sure, let me know first. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I don't just let no kid be, no, don't nigga be around my kid without telling me. You yeah, me? for but sure. Like, let me know first. And then on top of that, make sure he got a good head on his shoulders and he ain't teaching Juju no other shit and hurting the harm him. Are we good? I don't care. Cause that's the same thing with the ladies on with me. You feel yeah, me? Yeah. It's like they like my kid. They even want to take us out to dinner and breakfast and shit. So yeah. it's like, bro, you feel me? So it's like they on some real nigga shit. I expect that nigga to do the same shit. Yeah, for real. You got meet dog before he meet your son? Mm, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because it's like, bro, come on now. Yeah. Come on now, bro. You won't want nobody around your kids. You feel me doing yeah, that shit sure. like that? Now, nigga, I'm a real father. I ain't one of them fake ones that just be like, yeah, oh, and posting just, on the ground about yeah, it. You I'm, feel me? I'm not. Son. Nah, nah, nah. He, bro, me and my son had conversations. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't really be tripping about it because me and my son have conversations. He gonna tell me, hey, daddy, yeah. we done went to dinner with so and so and such Hell and such. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, for real? Yeah. Don't worry about it. Yeah, Craig, yeah, Craig brought <laughs> me half meal, dog. No cap. No cap. You gonna tell me, so it's all good. It's for sure, all good. man. For sure, man. Shout out to the Father, man. Shout out to you, man. Like I said, man, being a, a good dad, Thank a, you, a, a everyday dad, because you got a lot of niggas that's, that's having kids but not present. You yes, know what I'm saying? Yes, you got a lot of dads, but you ain't got no real fathers. You yes, feel sir. me? Yes, so yes, shout out to you, dog, for, for real, for Thank real. Thank you. Thank you. And his mama, too, bro. She be, she be doing her thing. She definitely be making sure that, like, Doggy Bone be up too. Like she, she do her thing. We don't play about that kid. No, like, for sure, don't. for sure. You want more? Huh? You want <clears throat> you want more? Or you good with just with just, it's just it's the one kid? Oh no, definitely, man. I uh actually on some real shit. It's a potential chance that I could have two. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, <laughs> right, like, like that's already born. Like yeah, that's <laughs> already born. Cause like no, cause I ain't gonna lie, bro. I was bro, young, bro. Yeah, going crazy, yeah. yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Sixteen, bro. I yeah. got you know what I'm saying. But I had this girl. Yeah. Her name Jordan, you feel me? Uh, oh, Jordan's look good too, though. Okay. Yeah, her name Jordan. <laughs> like she had like, I think her her mama passed away from cancer and shit, bro. Mm -hmm. So she had moved back to Cali. And me at the time, bro, I was so focused on basketball and trying to make it, bro. I just. Yeah. It was like at a 16 year old having a kid, bro. I low key could have been on like I could have been on MTV, bro. Yeah, yeah, Dead yeah. ass. Like that's another reason why I say misunderstood, bro. And, like even the people in Clinton, like people ain't even know, bro. Like as a 16 year old, bro, I'm dealing with shit that y'all not dealing with, bro. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. real. Like at home and my life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like for real, for real. But yeah, bro, it's like I he could potentially my like Juju could definitely have an older brother, bro, and his name Jacoby, he nine years old. You feel me? I'm just waiting for his mama to just get back with me. Yeah, so y'all can do a whole little DNA yeah, job. You feel me? Just yeah. get back with me. So and then all if you come to find out that that's yours, that's nine years. It's like I'm on my you jumping right in, like you jumping right in off bail. And then yeah. on top of that, I'm not gonna do that whole ass shit my daddy did, trying to be all disciplined and shit. Like no, my baby, let me see what you into. Let me see what you like. For sure, take time me? to build. And let me show you how I treat him too, so you can understand. Like damn. Yeah. You feel me? And then on top of that, like, I don't want him to be mad at his mama, but I want him to understand, like, nigga, it wasn't my decision of you not being around me, bro. Yeah. I wanted you, bro. I'm man, I'm a real father, 10 toes, and I don't give a fuck if I got 90 kids. Nigga. I'm <laughs> for a sure, y'all facts. Bro, for real, bro. <laughs> yeah. For real. For sure, for sure, for sure, dog. Taking that Walmart picture. I mean, the, the, uh, what's that picture? JCPenney pictures? Man. <laughs> Niggas are <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, all got the same sweater or something. Man, what? Son, bro, for real. We gonna make it work, bro. I'm telling for you. Sure. I'm for telling sure, you. Man. But nah, but I ain't after that. Like like I said, bro. And I and I do. And it's like, it's a strong feeling like a dog being my kid for sure, for sure with me. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like I said, we just got to put it on black and white and me going ahead and signing it and letting it be what it is. You feel me? So yeah. after that, man, like I said, though, it's gonna be... I ain't having no more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's sure. two. That's yeah. two, bro. Unless I got like, I need a million for both of them. <laughs> <laughs> and once that happened, then we can worry about the third. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Hell for yeah. Sure. Now, dog, it's uh, it's March. Yes, sir. Twenty twenty four, man. We yes, already sir. what quarter quarter in. Mm -hmm. Uh, how was last year for you, dog? It's personal and it's on the artist side. Like, how was twenty twenty three for you? You know hard, what I'm saying? Hard. I was homeless. For real? I was homeless, bro. I was about to get into a shelter. I was bouncing around from people's house to house. Yeah. I was, uh, shit, I was, shit, lived with my GG for probably like four or five months, and then that shit was hard, bro. Mm -hmm. So for the man that I, like, where I am right now, bro, I'm so fucking proud to just yeah. to do all that shit in one year and to bounce back, bro, because I was, I was up, and then I got downered and down. Yeah, no, for sure. I know about and, that. Then I, <laughs> and then now I'm back, I can say back level. 
You know what I'm saying? And then you stay where you want to be, but you oh, we about to take that other step, yes sir. We about to get there, bro. You like you, bro? Like shit with the podcast. We about to take it to another step. Everything about to get better and better, like bro. 2024, bro. I feel like Cat Williams started off right, bro. Like (laughs) real niggas gonna win this year, bro. For real, bro. All that fake shit is done. It's done, bro. Hell yeah. Now them 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 nights, dog. Like you said, uh, not having a a consistent home to go to, Mm -hmm. like. Do that take away from your creativity when it comes to the music? Because you're no, so focused on trying to get right in your no, personal life. Hell no. That shit made it actually easier. Yeah. Because it was like I had so much shit to talk about. Because it's like, nigga, <laughs> I'm not eating every day. Yeah. I don't. I'm in this bitch. I'm staying low-key with a motherfucking... Bro. Yeah, yeah, bro, yeah. I'm in, bro, I don't even want to get into where the fuck I was staying at, bro. But it's like... Yeah. I'm paying $80 a day for a motherfucking hotel room, bro. And I ain't even... I got to worry about how the fuck I'm going to eat. Then I get my kid on the weekend at the hotel, so I got to worry about he going to eat too. Um, nigga, I'm selling shoes. I'm selling clothes. I'm selling everything, nigga. Yeah, like, yeah. everything that made me bad AT, I'm just giving it the fuck away, yeah, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, man, my yeah. man, just mad as hell, just fucked up for real, bro. And then now it's like, no, though. But it's like, being fucked up, that shit took... It made me talk about it. Because, like, yeah. I love... I 100% love, like music yeah. because it's literally a feeling like the blues the r&b it's about shit that you go through bro yeah, you yeah. know what i'm saying and if you an artist you can take the shit that you go through and you can make somebody feel that same feeling hell bro. yeah hell yeah because that hurt me to be the best music i ain't gonna lie it when do. it comes to singing rapping it you do. because you, you be do. feeling that shit like dog i feel it that shit do. good i'm <laughs> freezing in this bitch hell yeah that's that's cold, like, nigga. Like, <laughs> Let's go, nigga. <laughs> Hell yeah, but... It- <laughs> I'm freezing. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm over here feeling like I'm looking stupid on the camera because I'm cold as hell. <laughs> I didn't say you feel homeless again. <laughs> My bad, bro. My bad, bro. Y'all dog. niggas silly as hell, bro. Dog, that's it. No, nigga, you gotta be prepared, dog. No, I got. We do it over here, nigga. It's, it's, I got it's, you. It's, if it's cold outside, I would know part two. It's cold. So I got you. Trust me. It's cold here. Nigga. We gonna set him up in the summer. <laughs> that nigga say, dog. I'm gonna, I ain't gonna lie to you, nigga. It's cold as hell. <laughs> no, we good, dog. Let's go. Dog, that's it, funny as hell, dog. Hey, but shit, man. When you get a couple of videos from me. when you were uh, in 2024, dog, like going into a new year, mm-hmm. things getting better. Mm-hmm. Like, what was your goals for this year, dog? Like, what's some shit that you wanted to accomplish this year? Um, getting up on my own feet because, mm-hmm. like I said, I was homeless last year, so I definitely wanted to be stead of my own. I don't want to keep on asking and keep on just. Just, you know what I'm saying? All that other shit. Like, nigga, just take on being a, my own man. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So it's like, definitely get my own shit. So that means car, house, everything. I wanted to do that. And, mm-hmm. um, cause like I, like I said, I had my car that just got totaled. Like, shit was going wrong for a nigga yeah, last year. Like, for yeah. real, for real. So it was like, get up on my feet. Um, have my son come live with me. Cause like I said, he live with his mama right now. He go to school, you know, cause his school about closer to her. You feel me? Cause I yeah. stay in the West. Um, and show that I'm low key really the best fucking artist in Detroit. For sure, hell yeah. Like hell yeah. and like not even on the lowest key. It's really on some high key shit. Like <laughs> I really want to let everybody know, like bro, when it come down to the singing and rapping shit and how I do it, I don't feel like don't nobody do it like this, bro. For sure, hell at yeah. At all, you know what I'm saying? People be trying to compare me to like like Roddy Rich or other people like that, and I'm like, that's cool and all, but like I'm Tito. Yeah, hell yeah, hell I'm yeah. T. I'm I'm bad eight. No, for sure, hell yeah. Now you know you been talking about like uh, hard times and. What you was going through and the pain and music and shit like that. Yes, sir. But who can you talk to when you going through those hard times? Like who can who can who can be a person that you can find to and be like, dog, I'm going through this. Like you know what I'm saying? My nigga Lofty next to me. Yeah. That's it. That's it. That's it. Hell yeah. I don't confide in nobody. Yeah. Like bro, like this nigga was staying in Texas. Me and him went to school together. He went to Glendale too. Yeah. So I was like, when he left, you feel me? Mm. Everybody that I was really like close to, nigga, I'm in this bitch. Like I feel like I'm in Opland. Yeah. That's how Clinton yeah. feel to me in Clinton Township. I feel like I'm in Opland. I don't really, you know, what I'm saying everybody fake friends, everybody all that. So it's like you know what I'm saying. I don't, I don't mess around. But yeah. like, when my dog came back. That's that's it's just him. Like, yeah. Man, I don't feel like nobody understand. Hell you yeah. feel me? And even judge and all that shit. Like, but that shit did. My yeah. dog right here is like 
Which shit, you can find in me too. Like it's my no, game. for sure, for sure. You be it's needing that junk, dog. You be needing yeah. that, that that person that you could talk to when times get hard. Cause if you keep yeah. that shit bowed in, that shit. Oh yeah, you be ain't gonna boy, go you right, gonna, boy. You gonna go to jail? No, for sure. You ain't gonna go to jail? You be, for sure. I, was, I remember I was living in Texas, nigga. That was probably some of the worst times of my life. For real. I was calling niggas every day, like, dog, I'm fucked up. Like, I need to come back home. Niggas like, stay, stay in Texas. Like, nah, nigga, y'all understand? You want to get it? I need to get back to the crib, nigga. Like, this shit is crazy out here. For real, guy. Go down there with a young lady, and then you realize that young lady ain't the right person to be down there with. Man, and you take care of everything by yourself, and you just somewhere with nigga, you don't know nobody. Man, that's crazy. Hell yeah, so I got back, I got my ass back to the crib, nigga. Got back in that car, rode back home with no L's, suspended license. I mean, suspended license. Gotta uh, do what you gotta do, bro. Inspire a place and no insurance. <laughs> bro, what? Nigga taking a chance, Got nigga. back to the D. <laughs> Duh, got back to the D. You going through those hick towns, those towns, and then niggas might hang you in the... I know you was scared yeah. as fuck. <laughs> Duh, I'm like, I'm tripping, bro. I'm, I'm riding through Arkansas what? with nigga weird looking white niggas in that boy. <laughs> Tell you, bro. No, I'm scared. I'm scared of them niggas, bro. I ain't even gonna lie, cause I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bust first and ask questions later. Cause I ain't gonna lie, bro. Them niggas don't care about us. Yeah. They don't care about us, bro. And especially in them times that you talking about, boy, get caught lacking around like nine thirty, ten o'clock at night yeah, in the yeah. wrong. Yeah, all right. No, for sure. It's they over. gonna show you. It's over. It's, it's over, dog. Boy. Hell yeah. Dad, I gotta go pee. You gotta go pee. <laughs> Uncle Steve, about to yeah. to the right now. Nigga, first person, yeah, first dude right. with a kid in the show got pay and shit, dog. <laughs> what's some junk, what's something you learned about yourself, bro, that you didn't even know? Like maybe you was capable of doing this or you you know what I'm saying? What's some shit that you learned about yourself that that surprised you? Hmm. I was holding myself back. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> on the artist side? On everything, my dog. Man, so what, what, what was you doing? Like holding yourself back, like and when, when you realize that shit, like, like damn, I'm, I'm, I'm really the reason why like things ain't going how it should be going. Attitude. Yeah, I had to realize that, like, you know, because it was like with being misunderstood, I mm -hmm. felt like I had to turn into this creature because everybody wanted to play me. Yeah. So then when I had to turn into that creature, I became that creature. Yeah, hell yeah. And then once I became that creature, it was like, you know what? That's not who I am. For sure. Hell yeah. Hell That's yeah. not who I am, bro. Let me show y'all who I naturally am. And me, excuse me, let me show you who I who just who my mama raised, bro. You feel yeah. me? Like that's really what it is. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I feel like that's what even separated me from even people that like everywhere. Like I'm just not saying Clindale, just in anywhere, bro. Mm -hmm. Like that's what separated me. Period. Because it's like I'm raised different, bro. I was raised with a heart. I was raised with a conscience. I was raised to put family first. I was raised. Just just like that. Mm -hmm. Like that's just how I am, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I'm the oldest of three. My mama had hundred percent responsibility on me as a youngin', so you know what I'm saying? The shit. Like I said, like my pop's last words in 07, like his last words to me was take care of your mama and brothers. For sure. So Yeah, yeah, nigga shit. We got the same similar story. Me. That's same shit with me, dog. Like thirteen you gotta realize like damn, like I I gotta be that, that, that man in the crib, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mom working two shifts, so you got to make dinner and, and shit, And the crazy dog. part, mama probably told you, you're not the man of the crib. Don't worry about that shit. But naturally, yeah, exactly. but dudes you are, don't know. Exactly. That's dudes don't know. Like, yeah. you, the, you the guy of the house. Exactly, exactly. You the shit guy go, of the house. Like, yeah, you got to sure. protect that motherfucker everything. Come on, man. man. Come like on, you said, man. I, got, I got younger siblings, so she leave. I got to make sure he eating. No cap. You know what I'm saying? Make sure he clean. He doing no homework. No all cap. that stuff, dog. Because if she come home, she ain't looking at none of y'all. She looking at me. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. If Straight it better be no dishes in the sink. Man, what? House better be clean. Six thirty in the morning before school, you getting cussed out. Yeah, no, for sure. If you one up, boy, you up now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm for sure. You. For sure. Shout out to the moms, dog. Yeah. So that's man. the one Shout thing you. you so that's her. the one thing you needed to work on. That was that was holding you back, huh? It was your attitude and shit yeah, like that. Yeah, definitely attitude, bro. And then it was just like, and the crazy part about it is, it really, really wasn't even attitude too. It was my circle. Mm -hmm. Like that's the reason why I'm having an attitude because I'm around you niggas yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah you feel me like yeah. dead ass i got an attitude right now because i'm around you niggas like bro stop it let me go get around some niggas where i could be cool with for sure Hell <laughs> dead yeah. ass Hell yeah. And for real that's what it is too i had to learn that shit like bro you you know what i'm saying a bottle of water costs a dollar at the gas station that bitch costs five dollars at the movies. Costs ten dollars at the motherfucking airport. Hell yeah. Nigga, I'm trying to be in the airport, people. No, I ain't sure. trying to fuck with the movies or the gas station. No more. Like y'all yeah. niggas can stay away from me, bro. For real, hell yeah, man. Facts. Facts, that bitch do be expensive hell at the motherfucker at the yeah. airport.
a good basketball player, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh <laughs> like um shit, I like to work out, I work about I worry about my body, my health, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, hey, I see you doing push-ups and shit. Yeah. <laughs> I, gotta, I, gotta, I, gotta my, I gotta get my fans in there, right? <laughs> For um, real. Shit, but I, I don't know, bro. I can't even say that because, my like you said, my life is music and juju, so I yeah. can't really, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't really think about if I didn't have that to focus on, yeah. the main goal. You can't even think about life being without that, those two things. I can't think about it, bro. You, you, so those two things, you think that, that saved you from, like, no, doing, hell doing some yeah. stupid shit? Hell yeah, and Kyle Devine. Yeah, Kyle Devine saved Bad AT. That's yeah. one nigga I could definitely say. That's a, uh, it's a, another artist, bro. I know you probably heard yeah, about him yeah, with Detroit yeah. Diamond. Yeah, yeah, like Kyle Devine, bro. He, he saved me, bro, on some real shit. Cause like being in Clinton Township, like I said, bro. When I became that creature, you know mm. what I'm saying? It was like they took. They also, bro, at, in Clintondale, bro. They we would have like four or five, like you know, excuse me, three courts. Mm. The rims would be up for like maybe three months max, and then they'd take them down. And like people like us and the like like that, bro, we use that for real, for real. For sure. Like, bro, I'm over here shivering, bro. Hell yeah, he's he doing, he do, he do everything he can. Stay warm. I'm <laughs> trying to, bro. I'm trying to, bro. But like, let me lean you back or something. <laughs> 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 trying to put this. Right, like you right, right. We can uh, try to you pull that. Grab that heater, uh, shot and plug it up. My baby, here. my baby, I swear to God, you saved so my life. Oh, I'm my nigga, you, my nigga, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we ain't got to edit none of this. Keep all this shit. <laughs> For sure. Feel it? Yes, sir. Sure? Yes, sir. All right. all right. We good. <laughs> we good. <laughs> we are so great. Hey, that thing like this, he's like, well, like. Bro, I'm telling you. I'm anemic, bro. Nigga trying to look good. Hey, no, cause actually, this, 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 this pretty good compared to other days. Cause now nah, I'm good, bro. I, I can think now. Nah, I can't even, even think, bro. He asking me deep ass questions and shit. I'm like, hold on, bro. Let me, let me. I'm shivering in this bitch. I'm thinking about getting warm right now. Bro. So, y'all some real niggas. All right, I'm good, bro. Hey, the podcast gets you right whatever you need. Dude, for sure. that's funny as hell. Uh, oh, no. Right. Hold on. He been recording them since like he was young, young. You feel me? Kyle was a great older than me. So it was like, he was just, like I said, he just said, bro, come in the studio, bro. You feel me? Shit, the rim was down. Just come one day. And one day, like, I went in that bitch. First song I made, garbage. I'm yeah. talking about it was ass. Yeah. And then he kept on telling me, like, no, nah, bro, keep doing it, keep doing it. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. Shit, that shit just, it yeah. changed everything, bro. For real, yeah, for real. Yeah. I ain't even gonna lie. Like, I love the fact that, like, I met niggas like him, bro, because it's like he did make me a better me. Yeah, hell yeah. Because of the doors that he opened up for me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I always appreciated dog for that. You know what I'm saying? And then once I started realizing my dog in his own motion and shit like that, I'm like, oh, shit. I'm like, hell yeah. But then I'm like, you know what? I got to get my own, too. For sure. For like, sure. I'm not about to coattail behind you, bro. And I know, like, every time we do this, you know what I'm saying? And we doing, we doing shit. It's like everybody looking at us like a group. You feel me? Yeah. But it's like, my baby, you did that shit from the ground up, bro. And I commend shit like that. For sure. So, yeah, no yeah. envy. I commend shit like that. I look up to shit like that. So, yeah. it's like, my baby, it's only right. Nigga, that I feel like to even make you proud is like, nigga, shit, look at T doing this no, thing. Sure. You feel me? Uh, no yeah. cap. Y'all some great, y'all some good ass performers too, nigga. Thank y'all stage presence is dope, dog. Y'all Thank need to be amped. Thank you, bro. My <laughs> nigga Kyle be amped, bro. Yeah. I ain't even gonna lie. It yeah. don't even be me, bro. I just see this nigga tweak, so I be like, bro, I can't be on stage. <laughs> you can't be not yeah. matching the same energy. Exactly. You feel me? Exactly. Plus, I gotta take a shot, fuck it with Kyle. I can't just, Kyle don't drink. He barely even smoke. He, yeah. he, I mean, he like smoke with my baby sometimes, because he don't even hit the wood, right? Yeah. <laughs> but, like, but I love that nigga, though, bro. He's just like, no, nah, he be like, he be sober for real, bro, and that's all him. Like, yeah. That's all him. Kyle could be like, nigga, cool the whole day. Nigga, he got to go perform. Nigga, you oh, about yeah. to see he, this he nigga sweating. Up. All that shit. He about to tweak. He about to climb on shit. Yeah. All that shit, for real. Yeah, so, and I was just thinking, dog. So, on this, on this podcast, on this show, mm -hmm. nigga cold as hell. But he was on Meet the, uh, Meet the Connect. He was high as hell. Me? <laughs> yeah, you, I, heard, I heard you ask nigga turn the heat down. I nigga. was like, bro, I was. Because, look, they had a room. Bro, <laughs> them my bro, niggas, dog. literally just, no, they're about the guys. Bro, yeah. I'm best with them. I'm, I'm trying to get back on the, uh, I think we actually about to link up another episode with them soon. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, no, bro, we was in a room. While, like, they room now, you know what I'm saying? It's like real small. Yeah, like, it was small room. Yeah, yeah. small room, bro. 
And I swear, bro, that heat, that motherfucker <laughs> heat in there, that bitch worked. So they go ahead. <laughs> that bitch worked. So he, yeah, he was cold as fuck in this bitch and he high as hell. Man. <laughs> what the? Man. That's I'm a little it. still. I'm a little, little still shit, but we gonna get it right. <laughs> Gotta lean <me> back. <laughs> Gotta lean back. I'm thinking about the freestyle. That's what I'm thinking about. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie, I'm shaking and shit. No. <laughs> we good, though. Let's no. get it. When last time you cried, though, it didn't have nothing to do with death. I asked everybody that shit, but I don't know if you're too tough, man. Last <laughs> time I cried and it had nothing to do with death. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna laugh. Shit, go ahead, man. You gonna laugh. <laughs> you gonna laugh. Steve, record this shit. You gonna laugh. <laughs> The the last time I cried and it had nothing to do with death at all. Yeah, I'm gonna have to say the Power series of Who Shot Ghost. <laughs> and my baby mama can tell you this shit. I swear to God, nigga, my baby mama will tell you 100, percent nigga. Yeah. The Power series of Who Shot Ghost, nigga. Yeah, I would, cause you know it drop at 12 o'clock every night. For sure. Woke up. Hell yeah. Woke up. Sw- <laughs> rolled the wood up, cause I knew what it was, bro. You know how they was doing it. No, for sure. Hell yeah. Each episode for these potential persons. The man, when that nigga he cut off the when he cut off the lights and he was just standing there. Yeah. That bitch went pow and he fell down and I seen the gunshot wound and he was falling. I'm like, duh. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> no, nah, not ghost, bro. Y'all, nah, y'all tweaking. You tweaking, bro? Like I'm like, nah. And then she like she like like then my baby mama looked at me and then I was gonna look back at her and she got the same reaction as me. I'm like, bro, they shot my nigga ghost, bro. Duh, duh. Bro, I kind of I kind of dropped a couple tears, bro, because I thought he was untouchable, bro. No, I mean, too. No lie. And he was, bro. Everybody like who real power series they know ghost, bro. Ghost really tried to do everything the right way. He tried yeah. to back away. So it was like for him to get shot like that, bro. Keep chill, big boy. You gotta sit down. Okay. Yeah. For him to get shot like that, bro, was kind of like fucked up because it was like, well, it really, it wasn't because of who shot him. Yeah. But like, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to spoil it for the niggas who ain't seen it. You know what I'm saying? It's not wrong with you. It's not wrong with you. But like I said, but like, but for who shot him, no, bro, it was like, like, but I'm thinking like just in general, like, bro, he tried to get away, so everybody was sucking him back in. Everybody once again misunderstood, wanna, wanna look at you like ghosts, but he like, nigga, I'm trying to be James St. Patrick. You know what I'm saying? For sure. And that's even like how I be feeling right now with me. It's like, bro, everybody wanna look at me like, damn, like this nigga, like, like, like right now, like niggas really got a bad rep on Tristan. You know what I'm saying? Like that's my real name, Tristan. But like niggas don't don't know T like they don't know who I am now yeah, they know sure, who I sure. was you know what I'm saying yeah, yeah. that's just funny dog nigga say he cry yeah. he, he like, oh, 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 cry, bro. I ain't gonna lie bro I cry bro cause I'm like bro no fucking way bro not ghost bro you what duh who who could no way, bro. He too slippery. Can't nobody sure. can't nobody do nothing to him without him knowing. Duh, but I, of course, who did it? A nigga Reek, bro. It's, Reek, it's your it's they gotta be the closest ones to you. For sure. Like, Hell yeah. That's, that's what you the gotta shit watch on, bro. Duh, but I cried the nigga on last episode of Snowfall. That shit hit me like damn. You talk about when his mama did that monkey shit. No, no, no. When that nigga how he ended up being. Oh that shit hurt me, nigga. Like, I was at work man. like, hold on. Cause I watch that at work Cause my wife Me and my, me and my wife Watch shows together yeah. But she don't watch Snowfall So I usually watch that at work Cause I work midnights Yeah I'm like hold on I'm feel, I feel a little, a little way dog <laughs> I had to go to the bathroom Real quick away from everybody nigga. That was fucked up like, No damn. I ain't even gonna lie bro Cause I ain't even gonna lie When he told that nigga He was like you my best fucking friend. Exactly. That shit fucked me up, That man. shit did fuck me up. And it even fucked Leon up. Because he's like, nigga, I'm content with being who the fuck I am right exactly. now. That shit showed him that. Yeah. And it was like... Leon was the definition of a real nigga, too. Oh, bro. Real the nigga. Realist, bro. And he knew not to... Like, nigga, I gave the you a realist. meal. I can't give you another. another. No, I, I can't get rid of my shit, bro. I like, can't, bro. You gonna fuck... No matter how much money... That's the one thing I learned about that, uh, that series. No money... No amount of money was gonna ever satisfy, uh, uh, satisfy Franklin, dog. No doubt I was gonna ever satisfy him. He was always no, gonna try to get more. No, because of what he had. Yeah. Because they, because like you said, bro, you take what was it, eighty seven, eighty six, uh, like, something like that. Yeah, like eighty six, a- a- eighty seven, eighty six million from a nigga, bro, that you work hard for. And then on top of that, like no, nigga, you work hard for. It. Y'all forced me to be this. Mm-hmm. Nigga, you you came to me to do this for you. For sure, hell yeah. You see what I'm saying? So hell it was yeah. like that was some shit, dog. Yeah, that's some shit, bro. And then on top of that, it's like I feel where Saint coming from, but it's like. I do also feel like his mama was on some monkey shit. Yeah, he she, had it. Yeah, he could, had yeah, it. She, she could have waited could've, four could've, more seconds, bro. Yeah, four more and seconds. Then his ass. About the trip. That's all you had to do. Yeah. Make sure your son was straight. If you really was destined to kill this nigga, all right, make sure your kid's straight first. Yeah. 
Cause you about to go down For sure Hell He's yeah. a cop Yeah for sure He's a fucking cop You about to go down It's a wrap It's a wrap Yeah So it's over with but So make sure your son Straight Dean Wackeem He wasn't gonna go nowhere Exactly He, he wasn't was, gonna yeah, go he nowhere He was in handcuffs nigga. Yeah, yeah. The fuck Get him gone Then Duh, yeah, go That's ahead. my shit I miss that show though Yeah I love that I show too that bro show, I ain't bro. even gonna lie bro You teach your man How to squabble That was one of my favorite Favorite <laughs> yeah, things He whooped his ass nigga. Bro, Duh, bro Shout out to that nigga Jerome That shit was sad When he died too Jerome Fuck Jerome Damn that shit was that it was wrong when I like a real nigga too. No, he did, he did. He, he had did. to do what he had to do for Louis, and Louis pissed me. Oh bro. yeah, cause she yeah, cause she wanted to be a man. That's why she didn't like. She was content with niggas taking orders from her dude, and then man. you know what I'm saying. She wanted to be that person, and then, you know what I'm saying. She was content with being up under Saint. She wanted to be that person. So and Saint was trying to tell her like, bro, you really want this shit? Yeah, like you really want this shit? <laughs> All right, I'm about to show you what he was doing to me. Exactly. Like nigga, exactly. I was in fucking cages with my nigga. Uh. Also, 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 no, ugly. I ain't gonna try to, you know, call her ugly, but she was, mm-hmm. she wasn't a chick I was suspecting him to be. Oh, with his her. final one. Yeah, like damn, girl, you had you had bad one until she turned to a crackhead. You know what I'm saying? Then you had the, the other girl was straight who who, who kind of like tried to play him with man boy and shit. I mean, Franklin fucked that relationship up when he know when he killed her daddy. Yeah, yeah, he fucked that whole. Up. He fucked that. He shit. turned that into was, a crackhead. That was that on, shit. Yeah, that was, that shit was on Saint for sure, for sure. Yeah. He know that shit was his fault, but generally. One thing that I've been even seeing, like even on Instagram re- uh, reels and shit, like a nigga, want, a nigga said, like, I want a girl that's the baddest. No, he was like, no, he was like, I want a girl that's the realest. So I forgot what the fuck a nigga said, bro. Let me see. Bro. Basically, real is not the baddest. Yeah, like, I just posted that shit, bro. I'm trying to see, bro. That yeah. shit, that shit, literally, like, bro. I'm telling you, like, that shit means so much, like. For real, for real, because it's like if if she so happened to be one of uh, like both of them, yeah, 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 cool. But you you definitely need somebody that you can relate to, somebody that's gonna be you know what I'm saying understand you, not just a bitch that's good to look at like and she yeah. ain't worth nothing. Dog. Here you go, yeah. I prefer the realest over the baddest, but if she both, she a blessing. No, for, for real. real, hell yeah, hell yeah, for real, for real. So shit, staying on that, mm-hmm. like I always ask women on the show, you know, what I'm saying what do they look for when they you know what I'm saying messing around with a guy. Mm-hmm. I never asked a dude like, "What do you look for, though, when you mess around with a, you know, saying chick, though? What you looking for, dog?" Honesty and loyalty. Yeah. Honesty and loyalty. Of course, you know what I'm saying you got to be pretty. You know what I'm saying. I don't think I have a track record of ugly girls. <laughs> yeah, you said yeah. you you a honey on that one. Uh, huh? Yeah, for sure. For sure. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. But I feel like um, just in, just honesty, bro. Honesty and oh, <laughs> honesty, loyalty. And how are you when your man is in a situation like he got to, like, he down, you know what Mm -hmm. I'm saying? And now he got to, he got to lift himself back up. You know what I'm saying? Can you watch your man fall and and be on his side while he's building himself back up? Because he's not asking you, but when being a woman, you know what I'm saying? It's like y'all caring, y'all nurturing, you feel me? So it's like... Sometimes a man do fall on his woman in them type of areas. No, hell yeah, you know you what need I'm saying? That. To, make, yeah. to make you feel like, you know what, even though I'm like naturally not feeling like a king right now, you letting me know that I'm still a king. For sure. No, so if you fact. can still remind me and be feminine and still remind me of who I am, oh yeah, bro. You you no. got it for me. I would bro, you can what you said you want the cash app. Yeah. <laughs> you want the, what you what you want, Venmo Zell, what you want? Hell I got yeah. you. I got now, you. Now you know, we all want we all want good girls. Mm-hmm. But you got hoes out there. Yes, you do. What are, <laughs> are what are some signs that a girl is a hoe? Mm, I give you a couple of mines. Uh, yeah, you go first because they gonna they gonna be mad at us. Yeah, they gonna be mad, this dog. They but sign, be mad. This, this ain't for ain't hundred percent accurate. I give it eighty percent. Okay. Signs that your girl is a hoe, bro. She have a personal trainer but never lose weight. <laughs> <laughs> She ain't working out nothing but that pussy. Hey, <laughs> dog. I wasn't even thinking about Oh, shit. I'm thinking about to say something else. That's crazy. That's a sign that your girl might no, be a whole nigga. That is 100% She sign. got personal training for a whole year and nigga ain't lost a pound. Man, what? <laughs> she is getting pounded, nigga. What the fuck? Another sign is uh, all, 
another time that your girl's a whole dog, all her pictures is with her, you know what I'm saying, back to back to the camera ass showing. Yeah. As a whole. Uh the XL eyelash. And she got them extra large oh, eyelashes. Oh man, you talking about the butterfly effects. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah them yeah. bitches is insane. And those girls who take those pictures of their feet in the bathtub, you a hoe. Just take a bath, nigga. Just take a bath, dog. You she can't be, fish it. She, be, she could you, be just wanting to show off the nails or something. That she man. Had, she chilling. I don't know about that. Like, I don't get you on that one. But that last one, that last one was a little, that's a little one. 50, uh, 50% of the women that work in a plant, she a hoe. Half of them is hoes. Maybe 75. Your girl working at plant. She probably, not trying to say she a hoe, nigga. Be like I said, some bitch is about to be bad. <laughs> she working at she working at commercial, nigga. She on. I'm gonna let you talk. <laughs> and the last one, dog, to me, is the sound that your girl's a hoe, dog. Girls with long uh, fingernails. Yeah. Yeah, like like I don't yeah. like, extra don't, long. Talk, nigga. I'm talking extra about those, those bat fingernails, nigga. Not no regular long. ones. And those I'm, ones, yeah. And those I'm claws, about, nigga. Like, and this is like, oh, you need some new nails, and you going back and getting the same ones over and over <laughs> yeah, again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if you just like, oh yeah, every now and then, like you got some extra long nails, that's cool. But if you just every single time, yeah. like, oh, this is bitch, I got claws. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, 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 okay, yeah, okay. But uh, those tugs, I be like, why you got? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, what, what, what's your sign, dog? Like. <laughs> Definitely a personal trainer, dog. If your girl got a personal trainer <laughs> and she ain't lost trainer. no weight, nigga. Duh. You better go to you go to the gym with her next time. No, she for real. Cause she, she, cause she probably not going to the gym. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she working out already. You feel me? She probably at home training. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, he got he got all the weights um, at home. Yeah, okay. Signs that I feel like a girl a hoe. I feel like the people that's watching this shit, bro, that ain't even watching this shit right now is, like, waiting for me to answer this no. question. <laughs> like, it's crazy. All right, man. Um, You ain't got if You, you, you know outside what? every day. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You outside every day. Like, streets. if you always looking to be in the streets, if you always looking for the next big thing, if you always looking for, like, just to be shown, like, that is it. Like, I love them pretty girls that just walk in a room and let niggas gravitate towards them. I don't for like sure. girls that's trying to be seen. Yeah, no, fast, fast, fast. So if you trying to be seen, I'm not fucking with you. Yeah. Because it's like, yeah, yeah, is you trying to be seen, oh, you got niggas who literally <laughs> want to see you. Hell yeah. You feel me? Yeah, so yeah. I ain't even, I don't want to see you. Oh, you yeah. can go ahead and just keep going, like, straight, just straight past me. For real. I like them girls that's just quiet as hell. They homebodies. I like feminine women. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So it's like turn offs is basically you being masculine. Yeah. You trying to be like me. For sure. You thinking that you can roam the streets and do <laughs> shit like me. No, no, yeah, yeah. no. I think that's where the game get fucked up at is when they be trying to play our game. No, for but sure. don't get me wrong, though. There's some girls that play the game better than us. No, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Nigga, that's a fact, dog. Big fact. I got another one, too. Girls that listen to old Jeezy and Gucci. <laughs> You listen to old Gucci and old Jeezy when Gucci was fat and Jeezy was oh, fat, dog. Shit. If you listen to they, they old work. Hey, if she pull up on me and then she banging, Jeezy like to drink. Yeah. Jeezy <laughs> like to smoke. Jeezy <laughs> like to mix arm and hammer yeah. with it. Yeah, yeah she for the streets, dog. We got a problem. She for the streets, dog. Yeah, we might have to go to go my folks with somebody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, to old old but Gucci yeah, bag. But it ain't really, but it ain't really no turn offs for me, bro. Because yeah. it's like. <laughs> I ain't gonna care, but everybody human, you feel me, when it come down to the women, so it's like, it's like, I, I mean, like, so it's like, I ain't gonna lie, like, nigga, I ain't gonna lie, I'm a hoe too. Yeah. You feel me? I ain't even gonna say I am, like, right now, I'm not looking to be married, no, no nigga, sure. I'm 24 years old, so yeah, right yeah. now, Should technically, I'm just being a single man, so for it's sure. real, so it's like, but regardless of the fact, like, yeah, though, like, I, I know how I move, though, as a single man. Mm -hmm. So I need to see how you move as a single woman. Exactly. So if you're yeah. moving all that extra and this is, oh, you feel like party like a rock star all the time, oh, yeah, yeah you want party by yourself. Yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> don't fuck it with me. Any you of your know? female listeners watching, they're going to be like, oh, that nigga shy, that nigga talking crazy. Like, <laughs> I'm just, hey, I said 80%. So if you you in the 20% that... That don't fall for it, but the eight percent, y'all, y'all. I ain't even gonna cap a lot of factory going on with the factory girls. Them factory girls be having boyfriends, and they just be having boyfriends inside the job too. Yeah. Like them, bro, they be different, bro. Them factory girls. That's why when you said that shit, I just laughed, bro. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. swear to God, I, bro, I, I stay in the factory, bro. So I already know, bro. <laughs> I already know, bro. No, tweaking. You seen that last real Drewski did? Uh, no, no, no. But he was talking about that shit, bro. He literally did a real where it was like, just yeah. He was like, he had it. <laughs> 
that shit was funny as hell. He had a girl inside the job. He, she, he was mad as hell that she was talking to another nigga. Duh. Then this nigga got off of work. He had four kids in the car <laughs> with his girlfriend. Duh. Like, bro, y'all niggas be, that shit be crazy. But that's how the girls play it too, though, for man, real. Man, man, man. Now, you say uh, with the with the whole music stuff, bro, mm -hmm. that came into picture. You say uh, Kyle, you know what I'm saying? Mess yes, around sir. with him and jump. 2020. But at what point did you, you know what I'm saying, like, like, Oh, that shit a little loud. Juju, Let's take a, a little can you bit. Turn it down for me, please. But at what point did music become something that you felt like you found your lane and you was dope at? Like you, you were playing around with it at first. Mm -hmm. You were trying to find yourself and your sound. But at what point did you feel like you know what? I think I got it. Two thousand twenty. It's okay. Okay, so it didn't take too long. And shit. No, yeah, it didn't. It really didn't take too long. My dude, Kyle. Excuse me. Excuse me. When we uh, my dude Kyle opened up his house because mm. shit, we was not listening to the rules. We wasn't supposed to be going fucking with each other, but we was all nine niggas deep inside my nigga Kyle crib. Yeah. But I had my uh, uh, me and my baby mama. We had a whip at that time, so I was always pulling up on him. You feel me? You know mm. what I'm saying? Whenever they need some pharmaceuticals, I get him right. You know what I'm saying? For sure. So it was like. That's how I was at first, but then he was like, "No, nah, nigga, like we in this bitch, like we just creating every single day, bro. We ain't doing shit but playing 2K and 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 literally in the studio." And I'm yeah. like, "Shit, fuck it, nigga. We yeah. can't hoop. We we, <laughs> we gonna go to jail if we go hoop or some shit." So I'm like, "Fuck it, let me go on here." <clears throat> I was in that bitch, bro. And once I started like every single day, bro, I'm realizing like, all right. Whenever niggas not getting done with the studio, you feel me? I'm going in there and I'm getting my shit done. And when I'm hearing what I'm hearing, like, bro, I'm one of them people where it's like, I listen to, like, my first four bars, I start smiling. Yeah. I start smiling. I start yeah. getting hyped because I'm like, shit, this shit about to be cold. You feel For me? Because sure, it's yeah, like, yeah. then I just, it's everything is sound based with me, too, because I know my bars, they're going to they gonna hit how they're going to hit. Yeah. So it's like, it's sound based. Once I realize how good I sound, oh, it's over with. You feel yeah. me? So. Yeah, it was about there when I realized I was good 2020, and then I started perfecting. Like, I, I realized my sound mm. 2020, and then I'm now perfecting it and just getting it to, like, yeah, like hell where yeah. it's at for, for sure. sure. Hell yeah, hell yeah. If you had to use a song, it could be yours mm -hmm. or somebody else's or even an album to describe you without, you you know what I'm saying, you ain't saying nothing, out, ain't no words come out your mouth, you just press and play. What song or album is going to tell me about Bad A.P.T.? It'll be Sada Baby Scoob, mm -hmm. but switching my name to T every single time he say Scoob. Yeah. I don't know if anybody heard that, mm -hmm. but like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're talking about you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now, yeah I ain't I, even going to lie. Yeah. I ain't even going to lie. It is, it's, it's cold because it's like he was talking about, I feel like him. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just feel like him, bro. I'm not even going to lie to you. I'm done holding myself back. I'm done not feeling like that's what I felt like what he was saying in that song, too. It's like, nigga, I'm schooled. Like, mm -hmm. y'all niggas must have forgot who the fuck I was. For sure. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm yeah. saying? So, like, yeah. We, yeah. Uh, what you, what you going to do to get that, that, that feature? From Sada? Yeah, because, you know, you got that Shit. on the bar. Yeah, <laughs> I know I do got it on the boogie down. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, I ain't going to lie, bro. Shit. Skiller. I, I talked to Skiller. You feel me? So... Mm -hmm. Shit, I guess I'm gonna really just try to just stay talking to both of them niggas for real and just see what they prices is, stack up and give it to them for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? That's really as simple as how it's really gonna be, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I, I believe one thing. My like my uh my other step pops me, my dog face, my uh, my mom's uh man now. Mm -hmm. He be telling me like, bro, you gotta pay how you weigh. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And that's just some way you gotta pay how you weigh, bro. Like you literally gotta pay how you weigh, bro. So it's like I understand that these niggas is the damn near the legend. No, no damn near legends of the deep. Yeah, for sure. Hell They're yeah. legends of the deep. Hell so yeah. it's like, nigga, you got to understand once you step into that field, you going to have to really step into that field. Yeah, yeah. So I niggas got niggas comfortable dancing and shit. Yeah, yeah you feel me? So yeah, I'm going to definitely try to see. But if it's shit, if it's something that this nigga want more than music, shit, politic with me, my baby. We can talk. For sure. For real. Hell yeah. Hell me yeah. want more than the cheese, shit. We could talk. But no, I know you're going to want the cheese. And I ain't got no problem paying, with, paying it for both of them because I know that shit going to be everything that I need it to be. And I'll make sure whenever song they're going to get on, that shit going to be something that's going to be on the radio. That shit gonna be something that nigga you gonna bang for the next four, five, six, seven, eight months. Yeah, hell I'm yeah, hell yeah. Count. Hey, we gonna make it happen. I'm gonna get that nigga on podcast same time. Hey, <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yes, you know what I'm yes, saying? Sir. We April, uh, April 24th, dog. Yes, sir. Hibernation. Yes, sir. Project coming out, dog. Talk about that shit, man. What can niggas expect? You know what I'm saying? When they hear the shit. They can hear me waking up. Yeah. They can hear me waking up. They can hear me 100%. 
They can hear me getting better. They can hear me actually being comfortable with this new sound and flow that I'm becoming and be like, it's 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 a new level. For sure. Out of hibernation means I am 100% woken myself up from myself and I'm waking y'all up for to understand yeah. who the fuck I am. But for real, I've been asleep. I've been asleep for a while. Like I said, being mm. homeless and all that shit and going through the shit, going like going through the trials and tribulations of being a young man, bro. You know what mm. I'm saying? So it's like I'm asleep with a lot of shit. And now that I woke up and now that I know the better me and now that I know just what the goal is and what I'm focused on actually now, mm. it's over. It's out of hibernation. Now I know I'm woken up. It's over with. So now it's like ain't no more. Y'all can't fuck with me. Yeah, I've been be fucking up. with myself. That's what it is. I've been fucking with myself. Y'all ain't even been fucking with me. For sure. EP or is it a long EP. project? Okay, EP. okay. How many yep. tracks? Four songs. Okay, okay, okay. Four songs. You know what I'm saying? You got th- uh, two of them produced by my dude Lofty by J right here. Mm-hmm. You feel me? We got uh shit. And I got another two produced. One by my dog uh, Call Me Cam, and the other one is by my dog uh, ATL Beats. For sure, for sure. When you put out a project, what do you expect, though? Like, what what do you expect out of a project? And you know, how do you prom- and how do you promote the shit at the same time? Promote it really, like I said, media runs. I uh, I like my dog Drip Trip. He uh, we starting to get like routines with understanding what hits and what don't hit. You know what I'm saying? Starting yeah. to figure out what works for me. Um. And just making sure that the music is ear candy. Like, bro, Mm. like, making sure that the music is there. Because it's like, people be promoting bullshit and they be on, it be going crazy. Yeah, yeah. People be promoting (laughs) bullshit and they go crazy, you feel me? And I I swear to God, they put like $2,000 behind some bullshit and that shit, people be banging it and it's some bullshit. Yeah, You know what I'm saying? So it's like, bro, you just really just got to make sure that you just stack that cheese, make sure the music is there. And I know my music there, it's really just promoting the marketing. Once that shit is there, it's over with. It's over with. Once I, it's it's 100% over with. Yeah, trust me, I know, I know. Niggas, bullshit pop off. I be wondering, like, even I watch other podcasts like how the fuck that like, real mind, quick <laughs> at, real quick at the crib I'll be talking hella shit about y'all niggas dog. for real <laughs> like what the fuck man up? <laughs> nah y'all shit garbage nigga for real for real I some of y'all shit y'all need to quit it yeah, dead man. ass. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Dead ass, but shit. Like you, I said, I you know how the internet is now. No, for sure. Hell yeah. You had said something on the song, uh, no, different. Sorry. You say I'm a ball on these niggas, even in the scrimmage, and that made me just feel like, like. You gonna go hard no matter what it is. If it's a small crowd, oh, big nigga crowd. Did his research. <laughs> Do y'all hear this man? That's crazy. He got me feeling one hundred. <laughs> that shit. I did say that shit. Didn't I? <laughs> but when That's I think about crazy. that, I just think about even when we when we coaching mm-hmm. with the show. Like even you as a performer, if it's two people in the crowd, hundred people, you gonna ball. Of course. If it, you know what I'm saying. If I got a. A, a whack group of kids or a good group, I'm still gonna coach. You know what I'm saying? If it's one view for this episode or 100, I'm still gonna give it my all when I'm interviewing niggas. So, like, that's, that's where you was coming from when you said that, bro? Yes, sir. Even if you practicing, bro, you gotta give it 100%. 100% all times, bro. Yeah. Like, that's one thing I even be telling Juju. He be like, dang, daddy, I can't do it. I be like, no, there ain't no camp. It yeah. just mean that you just failed this time and you try again. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, like, bro, I'm a ball in the scrimmages, bro, and shit. Even when you think it's practice, you're going to be like, damn, this nigga is, why is he tripping like this? It's mm. because, nigga, this <laughs> is just, this is how I perform. Yeah, yeah. That's you why know, I be telling people, this like, is nigga, how I perform. what you do in the background is how you're going to be a great at, at what you do. I swear to God. Like what you do when niggas ain't watching, mm-hmm. it's going to make you better, at, you know what I'm saying, when the lights is on you. I swear shit. to God, like I said, I ain't become a good shooter overnight. No, yeah. I put in, like I said, my mama was yelling at me nights after night, nigga talking about, bro, get your ass in the house. Nigga, I'm in doing, watching Stephen Curry doing the same moves he doing on his highlights, you know what I'm saying, and repeating them over and over and over and over again. So it's like, yes, yeah. bro, yeah. For sure. Now, you see, this one junk you had said, nigga, had me think about my brother. Can my brother say, I always had the heart of... I always had the heart away like that nigga Penny. My 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 brother always tell me, nigga, you want to learn everything the hard way, bro. Like you can't just do that shit right. It always got to be the hard bro, way. Then you understand what I was saying. Like, damn, I said that. <laughs> it's on a song that? called Lost. Lost, lost. <laughs> I see. It. Oh, I did, I did, bro. That's crazy. I got the oh yeah I did so I got the hard way. Yeah, I got the hard way like my nigga Penny. Yeah, yeah, bro. But see, but like. I was actually meaning that in the aspect of like how I said more more so like at Clinton, like that yeah. shit made me feel like damn motherfuckers was making me feel 
different because yeah. I had low key had less than and bro it's just like bro my mama a single mama with three kids yeah. nigga I just lost my pops a couple years ago yeah. nigga we's trying to build up from that nigga we ain't got nobody that's giving us shit you yeah, know what I'm saying so it's like so, yeah. so that really was what it was like nigga I always had the harder way like that nigga Penny I always had the harder way like yeah. I was always and that shit was never easy for me you feel for me sure. Hell so yeah. like sometimes I ain't gonna lie yes I would bump my head and make it harder cause I could've went that route mm -hmm. but naturally bro as birth mm -hmm. I always had the harder way I ain't I wasn't silver spoon I, nigga what you know how it is yeah, my no, baby for sure hell yeah and, and, and speaking of that on trap for me you said growing up broke I used to eat hot dogs and pork and beans oh man I hate that shit my mama my mama nigga bro, I, I, I fuck with that shit to this day oh <laughs> that's crazy my nigga. mama bro my mama was literally like, I know she's smiling right now she, Bro she see this shit I swear to God Cause it's crazy She literally be like You really just be acting like Like <laughs> She be like You really just be acting like, like No mama Like That shit really be making Duh. me feel Like nigga We got the can outside With the motherfucking with the, with, with the fire on And <laughs> shit Like this bro I swear to God bro Hot dogs and pork and beans Bro that shit is not good nigga, to I me I will fuck bro. this shit right now Can't bro. do it gang <laughs> Can't do it again. I'll put that jugger right down. Can't dog. do it again. You will be banging that shit, and I'll probably be ordering something else. Like I can't do it. Last, last one I'm gonna say as far mm -hmm. as a bar. You, you said uh, you in a bad uh, big boy. I'm thinking big boy. Sit down, please. You say you in a bad situation, man. You gotta leave. How hard is it to leave a bad situation when you in that shit? Like it, in relationships, like something. You know what I'm saying? Like how hard is that, dog? To to leave a bad situation. It ain't gotta be relationship, but just in general. How hard is it to leave a bad situation? Shit, it'd be hard, bro. It'd be a hundred percent hard, bro, because you love, mm -hmm. you love, bro, and if that's what it is, bro. Because it's like one thing that I'm understanding, like as a young man now, is because it's like, bro, you need to start listening to your brain more than your heart. Mm -hmm. Like you know the right thing to do, but you <laughs> yeah. be feeling, you, follow, yeah. you be feeling to do some the the dumb shit Duh. or the wrong shit or whatever, the love shit or whatever the fuck it be. You feel Hell me? Yeah. But you know what to do. You know that shit fucked up. So it's like it be like I said, it be hard to leave sometimes because you you feel you love so hard, you 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 holding on to something that you wish it just could be, mm -hmm. and then once you realize, like you tripping, it's it it's not that. It never actually was gonna be that. Mm. You was just feeling like it was gonna be. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm sure. saying. So it's like once we I realized that, that, you know what I'm saying. It was yeah. It was just more just. They, everybody tell you to leave, nigga. You just like that. Yeah. We all down here probably been in that situation. Yeah, dog. For real. I know me, two of us have. <laughs> yeah, bro. I like, gotta get the fuck on. You be bro. like, dog. It's a terrible. And then situation. you be questioning yourself at night, like you looking at at her, like, why the fuck am I even here? <laughs> <laughs> this is for real, bro. Oh, this is why. For real, bro. Dead ass, you be looking like, bro. You silly as hell. <laughs> oh, this is why. <laughs> yeah, say so that head game strong. For <laughs> so, say so that shit different. I ain't gonna lie. It's like you wanna <laughs> leave, right? <laughs> like, damn, you what? think about that shit. Like, she don't. Don't nobody do it like that. What that chicken <laughs> song? Some keep pulling me back, me back. <laughs> Saying that I need you in my <laughs> dog, you silly as hell. No, shout no. to Tyrese and Chingy, dog. No, but no, though, for real, though, yeah, it's just love and feeling, bro. That's for sure, all for is. sure, for sure, man. Now, I asked everybody, you know what I'm saying, beforehand, they want to rap some bars and stuff. And mm -hmm. 85% of the time, niggas say no. You know what I'm saying? But you say you give us a little something, something. Hell yeah. So, yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? You said the beat over I'm an artist, man. Y'all can't yeah. say no to Shad, bro. Come on now. What y'all doing? Hell yeah, dog. So, get this guy. You already know, man. Shout out Tuesday, man. Bad AP in this building, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm about to give y'all some bars. Yeah. Huh? Don't be too. Eh, 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 eh. No, 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 no. If you wanna leave, you can go by. Don't need no bitch on my side, playing both sides. New girl, hotel, screaming, oh my. She about to get her back broke like a pork rind. She a Gemini, and I really don't like those signs. Keep it a hundred, and you low key giving 99. Cheap nigga, want my penny back big time. Marathon, ain't no sprint, bitch, I'ma get mine. Get mine, hell yeah, bitch, I'ma get mine. Watch out for rats, switch the name, bitch, they 6'9. <sighs> I be had, see, that's the thing about it when I be doing my music, bro. I be hearing so many, like, cadences at one time, bro. Like, my yeah. bars, be they be tweaking, bro. I be having a, that's why I be liking the freestyle, like, the full beat at once, and then I bring my shit together. Like, yeah. it be crazy. No, that shit was hard. The, way Thank you, the, the, the whole little voice is I, 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 I need to give me a little singing voice going on there. Yeah, my dude, shit. That's <laughs> why I be saying, bro. I, be, I worked on that shit for a minute. Yeah. Big boy. A little bad dude, though. I bet they say, I want my geese to work, too. <laughs> Hell yeah. You Not, was freestyling with me, Joe? Now, what's some, uh, Making the band, bro. 
You know what I'm saying? Back in the day, Diddy had making a bang. You know, Diddy going through some shit right now. Mm -hmm. Diddy, uh, yeah, you going down bad right now, Diddy. Fuck. Yeah, Diddy. Diddy. Him and R. Kelly about yeah. that. They about to be on the same shit, Man, that shit is sad. I ain't even gonna lie. But he had a show making a band, bro. 50 Cent ain't gonna let up off oh, that no. nigga either. <laughs> Five niggas in a band. So if you... I'm gonna give you two albums. Okay. If you had to make the, your dream album industry-wise... Okay. And locally, what was those? What was that What would that look like? So you can start off with the uh, local. Like you and four other people making this album. Producers as well. Yep, producers, rappers, singers, however you want. You can have all singers, all rappers, all producers, and it's all like local, like not mainstream. You no know, people you talking about, like yep. just like people that I know. Yeah, locally in the city or wherever it could be. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And then after you name those five, I want mm -hmm. you to name me who you want to work with that's in the industry. Okay, but all right, so five people right now that I that I feel like that I will make good music with. Yep. Um, Luffy by J. Mm hmm. Kyle Devon. Okay. My dude, Isaiah. Okay. Dude, cold as hell. Isaiah cold as fuck. Mm. Um, who I just know, like, I'm going to just throw some two wild cards out there who I just know, like, if I get on the song with. It's going to go crazy. Who is that? Like, I'm trying to think, bro, because I really, I ain't going to capture you, my dog. I really, I don't listen to nobody really but my niggas and me for real. Yeah. So I'm trying to think like so you say you somebody love that I just heard it. I feel like it's just cold. Yeah. Cause you name what you name. I think you only need one more person left. Cause five people. You, you name you. You name your boy Love. You name Kyle. Yeah. You name somebody else. So you just need I one say, more person. Yep. That I know. That I just know for a fact. <laughs> yeah. Only one Jackson. Okay. Bet. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Good only band. One Jackson. Good band now. Industry wise. Big wigs. Big wigs. Who you got? Uh, you and four other people. Nisha Nache. Okay. I fuck with her. Come on, Nisha show, girl. Nisha Nache. Nisha Nache. Man. Y'all don't even understand, bro. That lady. She is so. She's so amazing, bro. Yeah. Look like, good, too. Like, you feel me? Like, <laughs> you said that. For sure. <laughs> she do. She definitely do look good. But I'm just saying, though, like, just besides that, though, like, artist wise. But no, she no, she's dope. So, she, yeah. She's amazing, bro. I love her runs. I love her cadences. I love the way how she just. Approach the beat. I feel like we'd be cold. Yeah. Ooh, yo, yeah. please sit down for me, big boy. Mm. Feel like we uh, she approached to be crazy. Sada baby, of course. Okay, you Nisha Sada. Me Nisha Sada. I feel like that skill is shit. I, I know that shit really gonna happen though. So yeah. I really don't like. I'm just you talking about wishing. Yeah. I I feel like I'm really gonna make that skill shit happen. So I'm really thinking about like who I would just just need mm. that would satisfy my soul yeah. that is just like some Detroit shit yep like I said I got Nisha I got Sada yourself so I you probably yeah I probably would go I probably had to say baby money mm -hmm. and mm, I don't feel like me and Vezo would sound good together, but I feel like we if if we would work on some shit, we would yeah, make some shit. Make it happen. We would make yeah, some yeah, shit. Yeah. Yeah. Vezo, come on through me, Red Zone. Yeah. <laughs> you all right though, dog. Hell yeah, dog. What would you do differently with your start, bro? How would you change things up if you can go back and rewind and change up your approach with music, or your start? Like, if 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 you would change anything up? I would just promote differently. Mm-hmm. That's all it is. Music, I, I wouldn't change no way how I approached the uh, how I approached and started recording and how I found my sound. I wouldn't change none of that. I would just uh, change my promotion and what my focus was on. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And then understanding, I would do my research a little bit more. I should just say that. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. Instead of just diving in, I yeah. would do my research a little bit be more. Be a little bit and more prepared. Then, yeah, and be a little bit more prepared. Yeah, definitely. Young, young nigga shit versus some shit I've been through. What's some stuff that you believed in as an eighteen year old that you look back on now like I was tripping? That you just know you only got those beliefs no more. Reacting off the first move. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. That's some shit that you was just tripping on like early on, huh? I realized that like it's more gangster to be silent mm -hmm. than it is to be on some rah rah shit. Hell yeah. Nah, fast. So <laughs> hell yeah. So I realized that as a young age, I, I like I said though, but it was it really but I feel like I'm in a catch twenty two though because it's like, bro, I was forced to bring that shit out, like I said. So it was like 
once I became that, it was just like, it just, it was just no. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That shit was just like, no. Like, I got tired of yelling. Nigga was losing hair. I'm like, man, fuck all that shit. Hell yeah, shit. I lost all my eyes. Mm, yeah, I'm like, <laughs> man, like, man, fuck all that shit, bro. I ain't about to be hurting myself just because I'm trying to show a nigga some shit. No, nigga, no. You yeah. do some shit or whatever the fuck. I'm going to just be cool about it and I'm going to play how I play afterwards. And yeah. you're just going to have to deal with your consequences like I had to deal with mine. Hell yeah. Anything new that you want to start, though, outside music? Acting. I want you? more shows, man. Hey, man, them Tubi niggas, Murder <laughs> Pain, all yeah, everybody yeah. that have been on here, bro, get yeah, with yeah. me, bro. Yeah, Thomas, could, Thomas Harris, look out for my man. You feel me, bro? Like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I could be a dumb little nigga to get whacked real quick or something. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Play it. We could play it how yeah, you yeah. want to play it, bro. Just for let sure. me know, bro. I swear to God, we got it, bro. Yeah, you feel yeah. me? I work out too. Body look good. Tell me, let me know, bro. For the ladies, I got you, bro. For real. For the real. <laughs> they love real quick to a chick on that one. You know, cause they, be, they, be, they, be, they be going crazy on them, on them love scenes, they boy. Do. They do. Especially the Tubi ones. Yeah, the Tubi ones look better than Power. Duh, so, like, yeah. ain't gonna lie. Duh. Tubi look like, oh, he cracking her for yeah, sure. That's what I told my man Tristan. Like, dog, like, yeah, y'all cracking, dog. How you wanna be remembered when it's all said and done, bro? How you wanna be remembered as a person and as an artist? I'm trying to be remembered as a real thorough person that always stood on business and took care of, took care of his family. Yeah. Like for sure, for sure, remember that I stood on business and took care of his family. I took the family out of the trenches. That is gonna be the first thing. Yeah. And also I wanna be remembered as the best sing rap artist of all time. I'm trying yeah. to take this shit out of Detroit. I feel like my that's one thing about my style is out of Detroit. It's yeah. like, yeah, I got people in Detroit and people that mess with it, but I ain't even going to cap my biggest fan base is in L.A. It ain't yeah. even here. No, that's how it should be. So, that's how it should be, dog. For real. What's, I got this thing, man, towards the end we call it What's Worse. Mm -hmm. What's Worse, man? What's Worse? Your home, uh, find out your, your girl cheated with you with your homeboy oh, shit. or find out your girl cheated with you with, uh, with your ex? With my ex, bitch? Yeah. Oh shit with my homeboy. You can have the album <laughs> fuck. Yeah, yeah that y'all if y'all gay, y'all gay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Duh. So, my bad, bro. I see y'all you gotta be comfortable as fuck on here, bro. <laughs> well dog, what's worse, dog? Running from a fight or getting knocked out? I'm running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I ran there. I was a feel great though. I ain't even gonna <laughs> I lie. I ain't even gonna lie, cause I, I even if I do get knocked out, bro, it's okay, cause I'ma see you again. Yeah. But running, that's just showing that I don't want no parts of you. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah, duh. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, duh. Duh. That shit worse. Find out my kid ain't my kid. That's worse? Yeah, I don't give a fuck about the, the, the storyline because I'm me. For yeah. real, for Hell real. Yeah. I'm already here, dog. Shit, you done told me I'm adopted. <laughs> fuck them niggas. You my mama. You my daddy. No, you feel sure. me? So Hell yeah. That's how it is. But yeah, if I know my kid ain't my kid, that, oh, man, what? Yeah, you, now you have, a, you have a son. What's worse? Not having no money on Christmas for your son or not having no money for his birthday? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not choosing. <laughs> I'm not choosing because that shit ain't never happened. I, well, excuse me, no, I, like, it has happened. I'm gonna take yeah. that back. It definitely has happened, but I'm gonna say, I don't know, bro, because I'm gonna feel like shit regardless. Yeah. yeah. So I can't, I can't say it because his birthday is his day, and Christmas is obviously that day to you for, for sure. you to get blessed. So yeah, I don't yeah. know. Duh, yeah, that shit both on bad. They both bad. The what's worse, dog? Being a rapper and wearing fake designer clothes or having fake jewelry? Mm, I'm gonna say wearing. Fake designer clothes, cause if I you a rapper with fake Jordans on, I'm never gonna forget you. Yeah, I'm never gonna forget you for so sure. niggas with fake jewelry. It be rappers with fake jewelry. We don't even know now. Hell yeah, for sure. Dead man. ass. And so, then, uh, Turk just said hot boys had fake uh, fake shit. That's <laughs> All what I'm saying. Around. Them niggas was shining. Hell yeah. And them niggas was shining. Niggas wanted their jewelry, and they didn't yeah. know you could rob them niggas, and that shit ain't worth nothing. What's worse, dog? Titties with no nipples or nipples with no titties? Mm, what the fuck are we <laughs> talking about? <laughs> titties with no nipples or nipples with no titties? I'm going to go titties with no nipples. I can deal with just no nipple, but the form is there. But yeah. no, you talk about straight chest, big ass areola. Hell, yeah, <laughs> Hell no. For sure, Hell dog. no, this is like a cow. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> dog, for sure. What's worse, dog? Being a tall nigga with short arms or being a short nigga with tall legs? <laughs> Say it again for me, dog. Being a tall nigga with short arms or being a short nigga with tall legs? 
So this part is a little as hell, but you got. I'm gonna say a short nigga with tall arms. Nigga got bow bow legs. Cause this nigga arms touching the <laughs> ground, he look fucked up. Duh. He really kind of look fucked up, but I ain't gonna lie though. You tall as hell with the T Rex. Hell yeah, yeah. They, they came and reached that motherfucking cabinet for no for nothing, dog. That shit fifty fifty again. I ain't gonna lie. Hell yeah. What's worse, dog? Kissing your girl, her breath stink, or eating her box and her, her, you know, her pussy stink. Eating a box, of course. Yeah. I can kiss you with the stank breath because I love you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but even if I love you, I ain't appreciating that box. <laughs> I'm not appreciating that. You gonna shit tell her? You gonna oh, tell yeah, her? I'm gonna tell, man, yeah. what, man? Listen, bro. I'm, I swear to God, I, yeah. bro. No. I told a lot of bitches for real. Get your ass in the shower real quick, man. For real, or brush your teeth real quick, for real, dead ass, bro. Cause like I ain't one of them niggas that's gonna judge you, baby. Cause trust me, my shit gonna smell one day, and yeah. my shit gonna get smell like that too. So I will, of course, you to tell me too. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? But yeah, but like if not, if it's a like if that's who you are, you just a dirty motherfucker. Mm. Then no, nah, if I gotta tell you every day, that's a problem. Yeah, for sure. For sure. That's a problem for sure. What's worse, man? No car, nice crib, or nice car, no crib. Mm. What's worse? Mm. So what you talking about? Like a lamb, no crib. Yep, or a big ass mansion and no car. I'll take the mansion, no car. Hell I yeah. don't need no. What the fuck I'm gonna do with a lamb? <laughs> That's a two seater. Only me and Juju gonna drive in that bitch. <laughs> you feel me? I'm looking rich as hell, but I ain't got nowhere to pull up to. No, nah, for sure, nah, for sure. Crazy. Last one, man. What's worse, failing at something or not starting? Not starting. Yeah. Well, I fell a million times, but I mean, I'm getting closer. For sure. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. Man, I appreciate you coming to this motherfucker, man, dog. Man, I appreciate you, dog. You know, like gon- I said, bro, I, man, I'm a true fan of you, bro. To have yeah. me on this bitch, bro, I truly appreciate it, man. No, for, for sure, real. man. I'm sorry it was cold, dog. No, I mean, it was good. <laughs> I'm just happy I got warm and stopped looking like I was on some shit. I felt like I was shaking, looking hey, crazy on the camera. You just <laughs> saw a motherfucker look of disappointment when that power went out. <laughs> The heat he was for good for a little bit though. Man. <laughs> for a good two minutes he was in heaven though. Like <laughs> they in the hell like that. Duh. Duh, that's nah, it. man. I love this man. I love what y'all got going on, bro. Y'all got a great podcast going on, bro. And if I'm not even gonna lie, bro, this shit the best in the city. Man. Every motherfucking artist, every person who doing music, every person who got designs coming up, man, come fuck with my guy, bro. Because oh, yeah. Doggy Bone, he do his research about you, he gonna make you feel like you need to feel like. Shit, that's, the, that's the drop right there. We ain't even asking for a drop, dog. You, you see, I'm gonna clip that motherfucker up. At <laughs> Hell yeah. Now, dog, where can they find you on socials and stuff like that, man? Get the music, all that good stuff, man. Man, underscore B A D A P E T E. That's on everything. Mm-hmm. That's on everything. Social media and uh, Bad AT, bro, on all uh, streaming platforms Apple, Apple, Spotify, Tidal. Fucking uh shit this shit YouTube yeah. definitely go to the YouTube page I definitely need y'all to subscribe on the YouTube man because I'm trying to fuck with them on that bag and get some plaques so I can show y'all you feel me yeah, yeah. so but yeah man that's it bro but for real just tap in with me on all that and if y'all follow me I follow back too I ain't one of them bullshit <laughs> yeah, for sure yeah nigga them niggas be trifling nigga. yeah, for real dog you got any kind of words you want to say any motivational words you want to leave people with I mean shit. Like I said, bro, we got the album, excuse me, excuse me, talking about the album, the EP coming out, Out of Hibernation coming out 42424. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like I said, shout out to all the real fathers out there saluting. Shout out to you and your basketball team. You for feel sure. me? I'm Appreciate definitely going to try to show out on Nova. If I ain't got to work, bro, I yeah. definitely will be for there. For sure, for sure. For sure, for sure. Shit, man. She salute to you, my dog Q. You feel me? You call that what you do, bro. And I just hope success on all y'all, bro. And everybody yeah. who really doing their thing, keep doing that shit, bro. Everything takes a time. Like I said, yeah. bro, I was just homeless last year, bro. So, yeah. Shit, nigga, you can get you can, yeah, you yeah. can come up for real. Nah, for sure, for sure, man. And we we had a uh, young dog and Bill. Hey, man, come here, man. You might as well say what's up, man. Come here. Yeah, come on, man. <laughs> get come some on, camera Drew. time, dog. Come on, Drew. <laughs> come come on. on. You gotta be on the camera. You, 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 you wanna you say get, what you up, dog? Yeah, what's up, dog? Say what up? What's your what, what's your name, dog? What's your name? Uh, Julian. Julian, how old are you, dog? Um, four years old. All right, so one day you gonna look at this and like what ten years and jump, dog? You be fourteen. I'll be 48. <laughs> dog. You know say we all gonna be I'm rich be, in this I'm boy, be dog. 34. Yeah, we, we all gonna be rich as we, hell. We'll be rich in this boy, dog. So. You're fine, man. All right, man.